Hello, in this video I will be testing dip system by Jellish and this is the result that I got. But let's start from the beginning. Every service will start by sanitizing your hands first and then your client's hands. And I recommend to wear gloves at all times. So after we sanitize the nail, it's time to prep it. I already did the shape. Now I'm taking off the surface shine. I'm using 220 buffer. You can use the file as well, but not lower than 200 grit. After that, I will take off the surface shine from the other nails. And then we need to take off the dust. And it's time for application. First, I will apply prep, which works like dehydrator. You also need to wait a few seconds until it's dried and then I will take a base coat. According to the instructions, I am supposed to apply it only to one third of the nail plate, but I tried both ways to apply it to one third and to apply it to entire nail bed and it all worked out good. I prefer to apply the powder like this rather than dipping because I don't like this method and also in term of sanitary I don't find it very good you know dipping clients fingers into the same jar then we need to remove it with a brush and then repeat the same apply the base coat you need to apply it the same way you apply the base coat of gel polish make sure it doesn't go onto the skin if it does clean it immediately and also you need to work pretty fast as this is the air cured system and then we will apply the powder again. I am applying it all over the top. And yeah, it looks like it's too much, but don't worry about that. All the excess powder can be easily removed. After a couple seconds, then it is safe to remove it like this. And also you can use a special brush to remove the excess. And as you can see, the powder is now all over the top. The base coat and the cuticle and the side walls line looks pretty good. So this is how the application looks. If you feel like you need more color, you can repeat the same third time. But I think that two is enough. And then we apply activator wait just for a couple seconds then apply base coat and after that we can file the nails and honestly i tried to not file two nails and the result also seemed to be the same so if your application is good enough and you feel like there's no need to filing you can only slightly buff the surface or the shape and that's it so I only filed it, as you can see, with a buffer, because I find it's not necessary to use the file. And then we need to take off the dust and apply the top coat. And with this step, I experienced a couple problems. Two nails didn't seem too shiny enough, and actually that was the ones I was filing. So I was doing everything according to the instructions, so I had to apply it two times. It cures pretty fast on the air, you don't need to cure it, and this is the result that I have. And this is the nail from the front view and from the side view. So my conclusion is that this system is perfect for clients who have thin nails, who think that gel polish just won't work for them. And this particular client had this enhancement for six weeks and not a single lifting or anything occurred. And the most challenging part for me was removal. As you can see, I'm soaking it off, but even after soaking off for 15 to 20 minutes, it was still pretty hard to remove and we had to use a little file. So this was my test of the dip by Jellish system. Let me guys know what do you think? Have you already tried it? Are you doing it to your clients? I would definitely recommend it to people who have problems with lifting of gel polish or traditional gel, as this system is really fast and easy to use and it really makes nails feel strong and as like I said, six weeks, no lifting, no breaks, no anything. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!